Alright, so I'm Jarn. I'm here with the DC. We're doing a trail run in High Park in Toronto. It's a great place to run in the city if you want to get out into nature without leaving Toronto. So yeah, so here's our trail run today. We're going to be going nice and slow because I'm just getting back in. So Hazard's the trail running. We're in the dog ostrich area. Two dogs just barreled into the DC and knocked them over. There's a little cut on his face, but he's okay. Normally we'd be here with our two dogs, but it feels like minus 27, and our beagle probably has a bit of a pit and would freeze. Well, here we are on the single track in the southeast side of High Park. And Jarn's just leading me us up the route that runs behind the zoo. So now we're entering the trails on the east side of the park, heading north. That runs parallel to Spring Road. It's a really popular place for trail runners to come and run on and for dog walkers. As you can see, this section of trail is a lot more used and a little bit better packed down than uh, some of the other trail that we've been running that was running more like in sand or something like that. Let's go left. Let's go. Hey, bud. Okay, I forgot how sloped it was in here. Well, for 2019, I think it's uh, it's a rebuilding year for me. You know, I've been out of running and out of racing for a while now. So basically, I'd like to get a lot of fitness back. But one of the things, so one of the things that is nice about High Park is that the sidewalks are plowed by the Park Service and not by the city. So the city has to do all the streets, but you can almost be guaranteed that the sidewalks here are gonna be plowed and clear. So after a big snowfall, if you've got a run that you need to do, you'll always be able to find some clear trail or a clear path in order to do some running. You can also see in the tennis courts, there's people who play tennis year round and they've cleared off, even though it's minus 27, someone's plowed a court. 
to play tennis. So my goal is for 2019. Um, number one is to get back into shape. I haven't really been running seriously since 2013 when I did a 50 miler as well as a couple of 50Ks. Um, I really put on a lot of weight, gotten really out of shape, so I'd like to change that. I've signed up for a 24 hour race in July, which since it's timed, I can run as little or as much as I want. So one of the other okay. So one of the other things that we're gonna be doing this year is we're gonna be doing the Lacloche silhouette, which is approximately 80, 80. kilometers. We're planning on doing it in how many days? Five days. Five days. So nice and relaxed, not too hard. Just getting out and enjoying a nice relaxed vacation. Yeah. We'll be bringing the dogs with us. So that's gonna make uh, hiking interesting. It'll be the longest trip that uh, our new dog, the Beagle Xerxes, has ever been on. Coming up on Cherry, where there are a number of cherry blossom trees. We've never given to Toronto, but you can. They bloom every spring. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. So thousands of people decided to find the park. And I risk of sounding like a grumpy local. So it renders a park unusable for a couple of weeks. But you know what? We're lucky to have access to all of this. So Jarn's about to lead us into the uh, single track on the west side of the park now. With the exception of this part, the west part of the uh, park isn't nearly as hilly and as uh, technical as the east side. It's mostly flat dirt in here. It's all single track, but it's quite easy to run because you don't have to watch where you're putting your feet. So we just went 7K, and as you can see, it's not a big park, but there is enough trail that you can get some decent runs in here. You might have to do a couple of loops, but. So we're just heading out on some double track trail right now. We're about to leave the park, so. Hopefully you enjoyed coming along on a run.